Okay. The moment you've all been waiting for, I guess. I don't know the moment I've been waiting for. I have the Impossible Whopper. Flame grilled to perfection, so it says on the paper. This is the one that um they say has no no meat in it. It is a 100% meat-free uh, Whopper. And now I have it. I mean, it, it looks like a Whopper. It, there's not much to say about that. It just kind of looks like a Whopper. Um, it, it smells okay. It doesn't smell any different than any other hamburger, you know? So, yeah, this is the one that everybody kept talking about. And it's like, there's no meat. There's no meat. And it's like, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. So, mine was put together a little weird. I have to straighten it out. Thanks a lot, Burger King. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to take a bite, and we'll see, you know, if it's worth all the hype. Um. Huh? It's not bad. I mean... It doesn't take it. It, bleh. it doesn't taste exactly like a Whopper, but um, no, it doesn't taste bad. It's actually pretty good. I, I could see eating these more often. I mean, I'm gonna finish this one. It's not so bad. I'm not gonna finish it, obviously. Um, but yeah, no, it's not bad. I um, it's got kind of a different taste, but not bad. It's it's a little off, but it's not terrible um now I'm really looking at it it doesn't look different uh like it just kind of looks like you know what you would expect a Whopper to look like so um yeah it's not bad I mean it wasn't terribly expensive so it's not like you know it's one of those promotional things that's way too expensive and you just wouldn't buy it unless it's like a thing like the fucking you know, I don't see this being one of those things that's like a big charge like the McRib or something. Because people go crazy over that. I don't really know why. Um, but yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. These are not very eventful, I'm realizing, because all the food I've had so far is kind of okay. Uh, this is, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot better. Um, but yeah, this kind of tastes, um... What does it taste like? I'm trying to I'm trying to pinpoint it. Hold on. Um. Hmm. Hmm. It tastes a little like those um. What do you call it? Those 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 mass production cheap patties that they would give. Like I don't know if anybody had these in school, but I know you can still get them at the store. Um, where they pre-make the hamburger patties in like a big box and they're frozen. And they're like stamped out, so they look like big fat hockey pucks. Um, they, it kind of tastes like one of those. It kind of tastes like you grilled one of those. Um, which again, is not the worst, but it's not the best. I've had better hamburgers, and I mean, it's, it's honestly pretty good that it tastes like that for something being made entirely of vegetable. That it makes me think of something that is obviously not a veggie burger, you know? <laughs> Something that is very obviously a real meat burger, and, and that makes me think of this. Like, the fact that I can make that comparison says a lot about what they did for the flavor. Um, but, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's not something I'd recommend 110%, but it is pretty good if that's what you're into. Like, if you really like Burger King, but you also don't like eating meat... Um, then I guess this? I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know how you would market this exactly. <laughs> it's it's not terrible. I will say that. Um, so yeah, that that's it for this one, I guess. These have been pretty short because there really isn't much to say about them because they're not awful. Uh, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and if you have something you want to send me, uh, stories go to r slash moonhorse stories, obviously. But there is a mailing address on the bottom, ugh, the bottom of every video. And, yeah, make sure you donate to Patreon. You can buy something from the merch shop. All that stuff would be cool. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, goodbye!